Hey guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back for another vlog. So today, I'll be showing you how I did this artwork. The technique I will do and show to you guys is similar with the other pieces that I am showing to you on the screen right now. This is a video, by the way, requested by one of my IG followers, Gia. Shout out to you. I hope you are well and watching this video. Guys, feel free lang kayo to comment or message me your vlog suggestions here on YouTube or on my Instagram account. I'll gladly engage with you guys and do your suggestions. So before we dive right into the video, please help me grow this channel by subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, and clicking the bell button to get notified for more creative content. Anyway, if you want to learn more on how I did this artwork, please keep on watching. Let's start first by preparing the materials. So this is the list of the materials I used. Canson watercolor paper, watercolors like Tokyo Fine's Bento Picasso and Prang, brushes, pencil, eraser, and a masking tape. I searched first some photos that will help me understand the features and the look of a maple leaf. I haven't seen a maple leaf or tree physically to be honest. I don't think there is dito sa Pilipinas but I know they look really gorgeous. Anyway, I just sketched the basic shape based on what I see in my reference photos. As you've already seen, I planned on painting a pile of maple leaves, one leaf on top of the other. Once the sketch is done, I attach the paper on my drawing surface with a masking tape. This will help lessen the wrinkle when we apply water on the paper, so yeah, make sure to do that. Let me add lang that the masking tape can also serve as the borders. Kasi diba matatakpan siya ng masking tape, so that area will not have paint over it kapag uh, we're in the peeling process na. Maple leaves have a mix of reds, yellows, and browns, so that's what I'm preparing right now. I call these the base colors. Usually, I would deal with one element or shape at a time, but in this case, I will do the reverse version of it. You will start to pinpoint which leaves would appear on top of the pile, so that's what I'm doing right now. Then, I will paint over the whole drawing area using the wet-on-wet -wet technique. If you notice, meron ng konting paint or pigment dun sa water. I apologize kasi hindi ko lang na napunas or na clean ng mabuti, but it's still more of water naman. We now know that the maple leaves have reds, oranges, and yellows, so that's what we are gonna paint the whole drawing area first. Now that it's done, we will leave it to dry. Since the surrounding leaves will appear there underneath, we are still going to use the same base colors, but we will mix them with a little dark brown or dark blue as we go down each layer. Since we already distinguished which leaves appear on top, we are now going to paint not on top of those leaves, rather the surrounding space around those leaves. Gets me ba guys? <laughs> Chill lang tayo. Anyway, it will not make sense sa ngayon, but if tuloy tuloy lang, it will, I promise.
there is some unwanted paint or yung mga paint na dapat hindi nandun pero nandun on the leaves we left out. It's easy to redo it by adding a bit of water to your paintbrush and paint over those edges na may yun nga, unwanted paint. <laughs> it's one of the things I love about watercolor to be honest. You can always redo it with water. Now that it is dry, you can now see yung sinasabi ko kanina. If it does make sense now, great. If it does not, then we have to continue it per layer para mas makita natin yung final result. Nga pala, you can always choose to do more leaves on top or you can always do less. Your choice naman talaga yun, but you can now see ko ano yung nangyayari, which I'm happy about. So again, what I'm doing now is another layer. And ganun lang ulit yung ginawa ko. I pinpoint ko ano ulit yung mga leaves na ititira ko for this layer. And paint the surrounding spaces with darker shades of reds and yellows and browns than the previous layer. Actually guys, ganun lang talaga siya. We just repeat the process until we are satisfied. I am good with this already. I will get this framed and this will be a perfect addition to our displays here at home. This is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed and learned something in this video. If you did, please let me know by commenting down below and giving me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and click the bell button to be updated on more creative content. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Mwah, 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 mwah.